Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Hey everybody, Juan here. I really wanted to give you guys a look into this variation of a lean back or a rocker throw that we're doing here and we're performing with one of our 17U players, Peter Martin. It's a nice little variation. I wanted to share it. If you don't know what a lean back or a rocker is, here they are. Call them rockers, call them lean backs. I've heard them call a number of different things. So let's just refer to them as that. So what we're gonna do in terms of our positioning to start this drill, we wanna be a little bit more than shoulder width apart. So a nice athletic stance within our delivery. And our hand placement is going to be centered to our chest, offset, to our arm side. So I'm in the middle of my chest and I'm offset to our arm side and that's where we want to separate. Okay, that's the separation of our hands. Honestly, no matter what position that you're playing, that's where we want to separate our hands. So once we're in that spot, what I want to do as I lean back into this hip, right, or rock back into this hip, hence the name, I want to sit. And I want to give you this angle. I want to sit. So my hips kick back and I sit into my leg as best as I possibly can. And that requires a hip hinge and it requires you to understand how well can you hinge in a comfortable position. And I really wanna stress this out. So I'm here, I rock back into that position. As I'm rocking back, handbrake occurs. Handbrake occurs. So get in a rhythm where as I rock back into that position, handbrake occurs, handbrake occurs. And make sure, and I am a very big stickler about this, my glove side is pronated. I don't want it supinated, I want it pronated. So my hands and my shoulders mirror each other through rotation within my delivery, which is something a lot of guys just don't understand or don't grasp until they get older or until it starts getting preached to more and more as they get good and better coaching. So what I wanna do, handbrake, and I'm in this position. I like guys who pause within this position so they have a very good understanding and feeling of what it feels like to be in a proper spot before I go to home plate. So I'm in this spot at handbrake. I'm just simply gonna lift this leg. I'm gonna deliver a throw just like I would. So I'm mimicking almost being halfway down the mound within my delivery when I'm doing this drill. So I'm in this spot. I have a good understanding of what it feels like to have tension in my hip. I'm in a good placement with my back leg. I'm sustaining external rotation or delaying, delaying internal rotation of my back leg. And I'm delivering a pitch. And you wanna lift this leg so that backside can really kick through within the delivery. So let me demonstrate. We rock back, lift, and throw. So hopefully that gave you a good explanation of what a rocker or a lean back throwing drill entails. And this is, again, just a variation of it. And I'm going to explain it real quick. So within this variation, we start off with our toes forward. So our toes are pointed forward towards our target here. And that's how we want to start off this drill, by having both of our toes pointed towards our target. Along with that, our front hip is starting to pop open. And what I'm asking Peter to do is I'm asking him to try to keep his upper half closed so he absolutely understands the feeling of tension and separation prior to performing the movement. Now once the movement begins, it's very simple. He hops back into his back leg and puts an overload into his back leg by hopping. Because obviously we're not hopping on a mound into our back leg. By hopping, that extra force that's coming down onto the ground, even though it's not a huge hop, that extra force applies a little bit extra tension to acquire a better feel in that back hip and back leg. Once that back foot plants against the ground, then we start our progress down, quote unquote, the hill or our throw. And we basically just perform the throw as normal. So the most important thing with this drill is the setup and the hop. So the setup again is toes forward, so the toes are pointed towards the target. That front hip is obviously popped open because the femur is already turned. And then we're, we wanna close off, and we wanna start off by closing off the upper half so we have a better acquisition of the feeling of separation between the bottom and upper half of the body. We're gonna hop into our back leg, load the back hip by that overload in the hop, and just perform the throw as normal. So go out and perform this throw whether you're a player or a coach or if you just wanted to learn a little bit about pitching or just throwing in general. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what position you play. Any position can perform this drill in order 
to achieve better hip to shoulder separation, better force on the back leg, and a better understanding of just how to throw a baseball overall.